Thank you so much. Um, just two days ago, OpenAI, the owner and the founder of ChatGPT, announced another scary platform called Sora. It's text-to-video generative AI solution that can create up to one minute of high-fidelity video just by a simple text prompt. That's scary. You can go and check it, and there's a lot of news about that. Something that would take humans days, hours, right? So African youth now find themselves not competing with human intelligence only, but also with AI capabilities. So quick policy recommendation, and I'll touch upon the youth uh, if I have time. So number one, yeah, embracing pragmatic and futuristic leadership. Uh, so it's crucial for the Africa's digital transformation, so that is important for us to do, and we can take a lesson from UAE, becoming the first country in the world to have Ministry of AI. So we have to have that kind of bold move to tackle this, this season. So second, ta you know, having a policy of creative destruction proof kind of policy. It's a phenomena where all technologies are replaced by uh, new ones. So Africa's policy should be pragmatic. We cannot operate in 2024 with policies that we crafted in the 70s, 80s, 90s, even early 2000s. So we have to be very, very intentional about that. Third one is that we have to be a choose our beggars. You know, Africa continuously gets aid, but we have to choose impact over aid. So that's very, very important. Another one is having a globalization proof policy. You know, a simple physics says that in a dense environment, you have to be strong enough. So not to be overwhelmed and ultimately be crushed by globalization, we have to have that pragmatic and strong policy. Last one, I'm, I'm, I have a big heart for the youth. So we have to have a fail safe environment for the youth and startups. You know, the glittery story about Silicon Valley's multi-trillion dollar success story, behind it, is a lot of failed startups, a lot of multi-billion dollar burnings. So we have to have this policy and environment where we allow our youth to fail, to crumble, to burn resources without worrying about what's the consequence of doing that. So failure should be a pathway to success and creating a lot of African unicorns. So I think I don't have time. I was going to mention something else. But regarding the youth and job creation, one more thing and I will stop. Me and my colleagues were talking about how can we create a job for this scary situation of you know, mass youth and not enough job in Africa. So we have to position ourselves you know, as, a, as a preferred BPO destination. And we did a simple math. If we create 20,000 jobs with $4,000 a month, even for Ethiopian case, we can literally create, generate a forex of about $1 billion. That's equivalent to our coffee export. So think about that. Thank you.